American Beer TV. Today we got something pretty cool for you. We got a collaboration ale from Stone Brewery, Green Flash, and Pizza Port, all down on uh, Highway 78, down above San Diego. So, hence it's called Highway 78. Exactly. Imagine that. So, um, now this is something a little different from those guys. Those guys are, are renowned for, uh, I mean, all of them have great reputations for uh, really, really hoppy beers. Yeah. Totally, really hoppy beers, IPAs, that kind of stuff. This is a Scotch ale. This is the other way around. This is a malt bomb. So I'm really interested to see how they do that, how they how they're able to so pull that off. Go. So let's take a look and see as Kenny pours it what it looks like. It certainly looks like a malt ale to me. So they're gonna hop up a Scotch ale. I hope. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Let's take a look. That's real nice. It's got quite a bit of lacing on there. We got mm -hmm. good carbonation. We got a nice orange, nice. Uh, dark orange kind of coppery color on that. Mm -hmm. A little bit nice of a tan, tan, yeah, tan foam on that. Oh That's, yeah. You get those. Oh yeah. That Munich malt. Mm -hmm. Not too smoky. A lot no. of Scotch ales are brewed with smoked malts, but yeah, this one. Not too smoky on the nose. Yeah, it's got. Um, Little got malt some sweetness, yeah. yeah. Got some, some of that Belgian sweetness, candy yeah. sugar kind of mm -hmm. aroma to it, but nothing too uh, too out of the way. Not much hops to speak of. So beautiful color. Yeah, it yeah. looks really nice. Cheers. Let's go in for a taste. Let's Cheers. Drink it. That's awesome. Nice caramely, roasty notes. There's a little bit of that. I think there's a little bit of smoke in there, smoke malts that they're using. Yeah, the smoke comes through a little bit. This is a really nice rendition of a Scotch Ale. Yeah, this is real nice. Very clean flavors. Um, yeah. Yeah. It hides its 8.8% alcohol real well. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, really wild to... Basically, all three of these companies are really known for hoppy beers. Yeah. It's really nice to see that they can back off and make a very uh, true to style Scotch ale. Right, and this is really drinkable. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is. I mean, it's it's malty, but it's not really caramely or thick or syrupy or anything like that. It's really, in my opinion, why well, I, I like a malt a lot, but this is really. Easy to drink. It's very fresh. Just picked this up. Yeah, I so. could just pound that thing. That's really good stuff. So, great job, guys, on the collaboration. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So, yeah, this is good. Um, I mean, it's not, there's not much more to say about this beer because it's very true to style. So, if you've had other Scotch Ales that are true to style, this one holds up to it. Yeah, so. I, I, you know, I just, I think it's a really great, great beer from them, and I think it's something unexpected, so good to see him breaking out of the mold. So, cheers, man. Up. Cheers. Get out there and drink craft beer. So here on American Beer TV, We've got a plethora of beers in our uh, on deck exactly. lineup, so we want to know what you viewers at home would like us to drink next. So, we have Hog Heaven from Avery Brewing Company. We have Redemption from Russia River. We have uh, Kern's Kern, anniversary. Kern River Anniversary. That's the fourth anniversary. This is Dogfish Head Midas Touch, uh -huh. and this is Drake's, Drake's Brewing Company. Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger. That's exactly. The name. There so. we go. So tell us what you want us to drink next, and we'll drink it for you. That's right. We'll give it a taste. So let us know. We're curious.